Hey team, it's Dr. George here, and I just wanted to make a quick video, um, and that is in response to a number of inquiries I've had in regards to the COVID-19 vaccine for people who are living with HIV. Within Australia, HIV is considered a chronic inflammatory disease, and as such, it has been listed within the group 1B, which is the next group of people to get the rollout for the COVID vaccine. Some of the hospitals are gonna be able to start the vaccination process from the 8th of March, and certainly within GP practices that have been, um, that have put their hand up to do the vaccine, they're gonna be able to move forward with that as well. As for the date of the timing start, I'm not 100% sure. So what's involved? There's going to be an Australia-wide booking system and I also imagine that GP practices may be able to book people in as well, but I'm still waiting for full clarity in regards to that. The actual process of the vaccination, for Category 1B, we're gonna be rolling out the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. That is a series of two injections that are separated by 12 weeks. They can be given as early as four weeks apart. However, the best effect seems to have been at around about 12 weeks. The AstraZeneca vaccine has been proven, proven to be very effective. It's great at reducing severe disease, that hospitalizations are extremely reduced when it comes to people who've been vaccinated with this particular vaccine. And there is some data coming out that transmission rates are reducing as well. So this is a very good outcome. Now, with regards to um, contraindications or reasons that you may not be able to get the vaccine, um, immunocompromised, absolutely fine. We know that people who are immunocompromised are at higher risk of severe disease. That's why we want to vaccinate you. So no matter what your CD4 count is, no matter what your viral load is, we are encouraging people living with HIV to consider getting the vaccine and to talk with your doctor about getting it done. If you're pregnant, the College of Obstetrics has, has said that there isn't quite enough data to make it a routine thumbs up. However, if you're in a high risk group, they do say talk with your doctor about considering getting the vaccine. And also if you're pregnant and would like to consider getting the vaccine, have a chat with your doctor about the pros and the cons. There is no in contraindications or no indication to not get the vaccination if you are breastfeeding and the vaccine is not associated with reduced fertility. If you are, uh, have a bleeding disorder or if you're on blood thinners, there is a slight chance of an increased um, chance of bruising when you get the injection as well. So look, I really do recommend that people consider getting the COVID vaccination. It offers protection for you, but also the people around you. And we are kind of in this big international team effort at the moment. Let's all work together and help each other stay healthy. I will continue to get updates. This is an evolving story, and I look forward to sharing more information as it becomes available. Have a great day. See you, team.